Welcome to my trading room. This is Gold Day Trading, the best elite wave analysis, episode number four. So today I'm going to take a brief look at gold. I try to be brief, uh, which means I try to make it in 15 minutes. Let's see if I can manage that. Yesterday I tried, but I failed. But since I'm doing it more frequently now, I should get better at it and I should be able to be more concise in my interventions. So let's take a look at my schema to start. The link is in the description. Uh, here's my disclaimer and underneath my risk warning so that you are aware that there are risks involved in trading. And my services are live elite wave updates. So you get uh, an accurate elite wave labeling on three markets, Bitcoin, US stocks, and gold. Uh, US stocks and gold once a day and Bitcoin uh, one to three times a day, depending on what happens and how much I update it. That service, those live edit wave updates will cost you 20 USD a month. Sometimes I also talk about Ichimoku, but not all the time. And uh, as I told you, that service is 20 USD if you pay in crypto and 30 USD if you use PayPal as a means of payment. I also offer a uh, one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you need help, uh, let me know. And you get a discount if you are a private client of mine. Because if not, it's quite expensive. But if you are a private client of mine, you get a discount right now. It's a limited time offer. And that being said, I want to take a look at the chart of gold. So let's first take a brief look at Ichimoku. Here we have Ichimoku. And on the Ichimoku chart, if you take my tool, on the Ichimoku chart, um, what I can tell you is that if I would have traded the three hour chart on Ichimoku on gold, then I could have taken an entry. Uh, well, I want to say probably here, but uh, since here it was bearish, uh, I probably could not. And even if it was not bearish at that time in the past, and there was still the super trend uh, above it. So for me, that was not a fully bullish uh, indication. So the first entry point that I could have, have had was probably here or one of those candles, I have to see, because all the uh, conditions uh, will be fulfilled. But for sure, that candle, and that candle, I like it more because it's above the super, super trend. So that can <clears throat> would have told me that I could go long, that breakout candle. And then I must see if all the conditions are fulfilled. For example, uh, that the future Kumo is bullish, which is the case. Uh, that the Chico is free, uh, clear of price, which is the case, and that uh, the Tenken is above the Kijuin and price above the Tenken, which is also the case. So I could put my entry point here and wait until the current candle or the next candle, the current candle did not, but the next candle would break that level and then I could go long. But I will not take that because my edit wave count does not tell me that this is a profitable trade. So now we're gonna take a look at the eight wave count and see why I would not take that entry, even if Ichikomoko tells me to go long. So on the eight wave count, we had a wave A bottom here, and now we are accomplishing a wave B. The wave B is a triangle, which means that it has five legs in it, an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, and a D wave. And afterwards you get the E wave, and then you get the thrust out of the triangle. So that's what I'm expecting. 
on um, on gold. And that means that until, let me see the date, uh, it's approximative, but here until the 18th of April, uh, so next week, until the 18th of April, a little more than one week, uh, there should be no, no real trades in here because what we will do is just zigzag around and uh, go up here a little, then go down, then go up again, and then you have to trust out of the triangle. But it's more sideways action than trending and then a trending market. And it is hard. It's a lot of work and it, it, it involves a lot of risk uh, to trade uh, the internals of a triangle. So I would not trade the, uh, I will not trade the internals of that triangle. I will wait until um, we had the E wave and we get the trust out of it. Then I will go short for the C wave uh, to new lows. For that, I will go short, but until that happens, I will not. So I just let the, the, the triangle unfold. And once it is over, I will take a position. Uh, you have to be patient. So you, you cannot go uh, too fast. I actually thought when I was uh, labeling this, that we could have the wave B down here and we could have had the wave C up here. And that we would go down already. No, actually not up there. I'm not sure if I thought up there. Let me see what I thought. I thought that there was a, re a B wave here and then that we had a C wave up here with an A, B, C, so up here, and that the trust out of the triangle already started. But um, so I took a short position for that trade. But I realized in that concession here that it's not, it does not look like a uh, wave three down. It looks like a sideways action and it was very undecided. There was no real trust out of the triangle. So I thought the triangle is not, is not over and we are still in the triangle, which seems to be the case right now. So for me, it's a waiting game until I get my next signal to go long or short. And that's what you have to do. You have to be patient and only take the, the trades that matters to you. My last trade on um, US oil today was a profitable trade. I had an open position for I had an open position for two days and I made a sixteen point thirty five percent, and that's great. Uh, two days uh, uh, for having a position and making sixteen percent it's it's very nice. But I don't have to take too much positions and I don't have to lose money because if I start taking too much position and I start losing money, so if I start playing around like in with the internals of a triangle, then uh, the probability that I will lose money uh, will rise and I simply will eat away my profits. So I just wait for the next uh, good trade and until then I will be patient. I have uh, forgotten to show you uh, this chart and I would like to invite you to like and comment, leave me a comment. I, I appreciate them if they are kind. From time to time, I take a look. So leave me a comment and you must also leave me a like. That's important because if there is no demand for my free work, then I will cease providing that free work. So if you want more free work, free work, for, work for me in the future, then you have to like so that other people can find this and that shows me that there is demand. If people watch this intervention, then there is demand. And then I will, I will be keep on providing free stuff to you. But if there's not enough demand, then I must cease since the market tells me that there's no demand for real TA and that people only like uh, uh, small talk or, or other stuff, uh, much more light stuff than real trading. 
So if there's no demand, then there's no point for, for me taking my time and my effort uh, out of the day in, um, in providing this content to you. So that was actually all I wanted to do for today. And uh, finally, I would like to invite you to become a member of my free Telegram group so that you have a second way of communicating with me. And I'll talk to you soon again. I will take the weekend off. Uh, I would like to spend some time in the sun, but it won't be sunny this weekend where I am. So that's not something I can do, but I'll find something else to do, like writing my last stoic book. I, I did not find enough time to, to uh, every day uh, work, read a lot and write a lot, uh, a little. I did not find enough time to do that. Maybe in the future, but right now, my trading is still taking too much time out of my life. And uh, I don't mind it. I want to, to improve a lot this year. So, and do a lot of work, uh, a lot of t-shirts and a lot of trading. That's what I want to do this year. And that's my program for this year. So, uh, so that's, that's fine. It's just that if I can manage a bit, little better my time, and I also find time for more reading and a little writing, that would be better. So let's see what I can do. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.